Portland police offered no explanation for the decision to reopen the case, which had been earlier closed due to what officers termed lack of evidence. A spokesperson for the former vice president said overnight, further investigation into this matter would only benefit Mr. Gore. While the woman, Molly Haggerty, went public this week in the National Enquirer, which routinely pays news subjects for interviews. The allegations from the licensed masseuse date back to 2006 at this hotel in downtown Portland, where Hagerty told police in a tape statement three years later how she arrived late at night in Gore's room. I knocked on the door. Al Gore opened the door and I introduced myself saying, Hello, I'm your massage therapist. How shall I call you? He answered, Call me Al with a big smile as he stretched out his arms to wrap me into an embrace. Gore has reportedly acknowledged he received a massage, but Hegarty told police the former vice president demanded sexual acts. He immediately flipped me flat on my back and threw his whole body face down over atop me, pinning me down and outweighing me by quite a bit. Get off me, you big lummox. Hegarty waited six weeks before first filing her report with the police and then further undercut her credibility by canceling three appointments with detectives. Police last year had already reopened and closed the case, but Hegarty now tells the National Enquirer she wants a DNA test on the pair of pants she wore that night and has apparently kept in a safety deposit box ever since. In the full Gore statement, his spokesperson, Kaylee Kreider, said, Mr. Gore unequivocally and emphatically denied this accusation when he first learned of its existence three years ago. He stands by that denial. Oregon law enforcement sources tell us that detectives are highly skeptical of Haggerty, but that whatever her motives, if she wants to pursue the complaint, they have no choice but to follow it, and that, in fact, the media pressure led the district attorney to demand the police to open this investigation once again. But since when do police departments file charges because of media pressure? I mean, they've already twice looked at this case in 2006 and 2009 and said there's no evidence here. Well, ag again, she is pursuing it, so they feel they have to go down this road. Uh, the media pressure apparently led the district attorney to feel Portland was being portrayed badly, and he wants to change that perception. So this is a case where they have to go through the motions, but uh, from what we're hearing, they're very, very skeptical of this claim. All right. Thank you so much, Brian. It's not about justice. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.